Hi, welcome to this video looking at the AQA basic skills questions set 1 and set 2. Okay, it's from the GCSE AQA math specification for post 16. Okay, and it's looking at revision for the number section. Okay, as ever guys, please feel free to pause the video, try the questions yourselves and then press play when you're ready. This is question number one, this is the first question. 97 plus 66, okay, so let's work out, okay, a column addition, okay, putting everything under the correct place values. Okay, so line my tens together and my units together, or my ones column together. 7 plus 6 is 13, carry the 1. 9 plus 6 is 15, plus that 1 is 16, so the answer is 163, guys. Okay, question number 2, I've got 76, take away 23, well again it's column subtraction, Putting everything under the same place value. Okay, 6 take away 3 is 3. 5 take away, sorry, 7 take away 2 is 5. So the answer is 53. Okay, question number 3. Write out the 7 times table. Okay, from 1 times 7 to 12 times 7. So 1 times 7 is 7. Okay, I'll write it as like a little sequence. Okay, 2 times 7 is 14. 3 times 7 is 21. 4 times 7 is 28. 5 times 7 is 35. 6 times 7 is 42. 7 times 7 is 49, okay, so what I'll do is I'll just put a little arrow just over here, okay, so 49, then it goes 56, so 8 times 7 is 56, 9 times 7 is 63, goes 63, then it goes 72, okay, Oh, sorry, guys, it should be 70, not 72, sorry. Okay, 7 times 10 is 70. 11 times 7 is 77. And then 12 times 7 is 84. So the 7 times table, guys, just to reiterate, is 7, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, 49, 56, 63, 70, 77, and 84. Okay, question number four, guys. Four divided by eight, well, that's 0 0.5. Okay, because that's the same as doing one divided by two. Okay, four divided by eight is going to be 0 0.5. Okay, think of it as 40 divided by eight is five. Therefore, my answer is going to be 10 times smaller, so it's 0 0.5. Next question, question number five, multiplying fractions, I just times the top together and the bottom together, so two times three is six, and five times four is twenty, so the answer is six twentieths, okay, so six twentieths, and I can simplify that by dividing top and bottom by two, and I get the answer of three tenths, okay, Question number six, which is the bigger number, 0 0.17 or 0 0.123? So comparing our place value, so I've got a zero and a zero, so I'm, uh, I'm going to look at the next digit. I've got a one and a one, looking at the next corresponding digit. I've got a seven and a two, okay, so straight away, that's going to be bigger. So 0 0.17 is bigger, because if you look at the column that has the seven and the column that has the two, 7 is, is obviously bigger than 2, therefore 0 0.17 is bigger than 0 0.123. Okay, I don't even have, have to look at the next place value, because as soon as one number is bigger, then that's it. Straight away, it tells me what the answer is. Question number 7, what is 15% of 120? Well, 10% of 120 is 12. Okay, you divide it by 10. And then adding on 5%, well, 12 plus 6 
is equal to 18. Okay, so 10% of any quantity, you divide it by 10. So 10% 10 of 120, I just take off the zero, so I get a 12. 5% is half of 10%, so half of 12 is 6. Okay, so 12 plus 6 is equal to 18. Okay, a road on the map, on a map, is 10 centimeters long and represents 400 meters. What is the scale of the map? Well, if I write it as 10 to 400, okay, as a ratio, and then I simplify by dividing both sides by 2, so 10 divided by 10 is 1, and 400 divided by 10 is just 40. So the scale of the map is 1 to 40. So every one centimeter that represents 40 meters on a map okay so it's one to 40 okay question number nine two friends share 150 pounds in the ratio of four to 11 how much does each friend get so it's sharing in a given ratio so i do four plus 11 which is 15 I then do 150 pounds divided by 15 to work out the amount of money for one part. So 150 divided by 15 is equal to 10. Okay, so 10 is equal to one part. Okay, I then do 10 times 4 and 11 times 10. So the ratio becomes 40 pound to 110 pounds. Okay, and you are able to check your answer because if you add 40 and 110, it gives you the starting number which is 150. So that does confirm my answer. So it's 40 to 110. Okay, 40 pounds to 110. Okay, I added the ratio parts together. I did the number divided by the total number of ratio parts, which gave me 10 pound. 10 pound is equal to one part. Okay, so to obviously work out what 4 parts is, I times that by 4. And then to work out what 11 parts is, I times that by 11. Okay, right guys, we are now looking at set 2. Okay, question number 1. 157 plus 368. Okay, so again, it's column addition. Okay. So, so... 7 plus 8 is 15, so 5 carry the 1, 5 plus 6 is 11, plus that extra 1 is 12, carry the 1, 1 plus 3 is 4, plus that 1 is 5, so the answer is 525 guys. Okay, next question, 102 take away 78, okay again it's column subtraction. So being very careful here, okay, 2 take away 8, I can't do, so I have to borrow, I can't borrow off here, so I have to borrow off that, that becomes a 0, that becomes a 10, I borrow again, or I exchange, that's a 9, that's a 1, 12 take away 8 is 4, 9 take away 7 is 2, and then I've got 0 take away nothing, is just 0, so the answer is just 24, okay. Next question, guys. Okay, let, let's just delete this so I've got a bit more space. Okay. So, 23 times 34. Okay. So, I'm going to do 4 times the 3, which is 12. So, 2 carry the 1. 4 times 2 is 8, plus the 1 is 9. Then I'm going to put a 0 there as a placeholder. 3 times 3 is 9, and 3 times 2 is 6. Adding these numbers together, so 2 plus 0 is 2, 9 plus 9 is 18, so 8 carry the 1, and 6 plus the 1 is 7. So the answer is 782. Okay. Question number four is going to be division using the bus stop method. 
so 96 divided by 4 so 4s into 9 go twice with 1 remainder so I carry that 1 4s into 16 go 4 times with 0 remainder so my answer is just 24 ok next question let's just delete this now now we've got a bit more space for the next question so two thirds divided by four fifths so when you divide fractions it's the kfc method or the kcf method you keep the first fraction you flip the second and then you change it to a multiplication okay so it's the kfc method keep flip change okay or keep change flip so keep the first fraction flip the second so it's a reciprocal for the second fraction and then you change it to a times 2 times 5 is 10 and 3 times 4 is 12 I get 10 twelfths which simplifies to 5 sixths okay, dividing top and bottom by 2 so the answer I get is 5 sixths question number 6 guys what is the value of 8 in 1.286 well the value for 8 is, is actually 8 hundredths Okay, because if you think about it, that's my units column, that's my tenths column, that's my hundredths column, and that's my thousandths column. Okay, so eight hundredths. Okay, question number seven what is seven percent of 75? Okay, well, let's work out what one percent is first. One percent, I divide 75 by 100, so I get 0.75. Okay, to work out 7%, I'm going to do 0 0.75 times 7, or 0.75, and 0.75, yeah, obviously 7 times. Okay, so let's just take our time here, guys. 7 times 5 is 35, so 5 carry the 3. 7 times 7 is 49, plus the 2 is 52, so 2 carry the 5. 7 times 0 is 0, plus that 5 is 5. So the answer, guys, is 5.25. Okay, and this topic is looking at percentage or percentages of amounts. Okay, question number 8. The length of a seesaw is 5 metres. If it is to be drawn on a plan of a playground, how long will it be on the scale of 1 to 100 Okay, so I am guessing that it's one centimeter for a hundred meters, okay? I'm guessing. Okay, so if the length is five, okay, because I'm trying to think of it as if I have, so it's one centimeter. to 100 meters won't it okay i'm guessing so that means it is going to obviously be quite small okay if it's five meters there then i'm going to do 100 divided by five, 20 which is five so one centimeter divided by 20 so it's going to be one twentieth okay or 0 0.05 okay essentially okay if i'm using this scale here okay if i have made a mistake guys it's either this way or the answer is going to be 500 okay it is either 500 or 0.05 okay depending on which conversion you use okay i've stated that one centimeter for every hundred meters okay looking at this to obviously be, be drawn on a on the playground okay but if it's the other way if it's one meter to a hundred centimeters then the answer will be 500 centimeters okay so it's either one of those answers okay i'm not sure which one it is and i apologize 
for not being clear. But I was basing question eight on, on something like this, okay, for question eight here. Okay, if it's looking at like a plan, okay, one to a hundred. I don't know if it's looking at the scalar one here, so one meter is a hundred centimeters, or it's saying one centimeter is a hundred meters, okay. Because one of the answers will be 0 0.05, like if it's looking at a scale, or if it's using the general length conversion, then it'll be 500 centimetres, okay? So one of those answers is correct, I don't know which one it is, okay? It depends on what your scale that you're using, okay? Using the one that I used here, 1 centimetre to 100 metres, okay, I got the answer of 1 20th of a centimetre, or 0 0.05. Or the other one is one meter is a hundred centimeters, therefore five hundred centimeters is equal to five meters. Okay, question number nine. Two friends receive some money in the ratio two to three. If thirty nine pounds is the largest amount, what did the other friend get? Well, if you look here. 2 to 3. So the biggest ratio pot here is 3. So if the largest person got 39. Okay, then 3 times 13 is 39, therefore 2 times 13 is 26. Okay, so the other friend got 26 pounds. Okay, because 26 to 39, okay, simplifies to 1 to 2. So 26 to 39 simplifies to two to three okay not not one to two sorry two to three i meant to say okay and because three is at the largest part of the ratio i made 39 equal to the largest amount which is equal to three parts so one part is equal to 13 pound therefore two parts will be equal to 13 times two which is 26 okay 39 divided by three give me 13 okay so 13 pounds for one part okay right guys that is the end of today's short video on basic skills questions set one and set two apologies about any mistakes or any misconceptions on question eight for set two okay but the correct answer is either 0 0.05 centimeters or 500 centimeters okay but let me know in the comment section guys okay? or let me know in the live chat okay what is the correct answer for question eight Okay, in that one. Okay, if if we're basing question eight similar to question eight in set one, then I said that one centimeter represents a hundred meters. Therefore, it would look obviously pretty small on like the plan. Okay, but if it's basing on one meter is a hundred centimeters, then I get five hundred. Okay, because question eight here is similar to question eight here. So my Good reaction and good instinct is that the answer should be one twentieth or zero point zero five. Okay, but I may be mistaken. Okay, right, guys, that's the end of today's video. So thank you so much for watching. If you did find this useful, please hit that like button. Please subscribe to the channel if you're new. Okay. And lastly, please click that bell icon so you don't miss out on further and future videos. Okay, but that's it from me today, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you for the next one. Okay, bye for now.